and IO fund lead tech analyst, Beth Kendig. Beth, I got to tell you, I've been thinking about you all weekend. So this is what I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm studying this thing, right? Most of it's going over my head. I created a checklist of what the folks who said that deep seek is real, why they say it's real. I want your, your thoughts on it. If we could just go through the uh, checklist. For instance, the multi-token system, uh, they say, and also let's go, the reinforced learning gives it, gives it an edge over chat GPT. Do you agree? I think quite a few things on the checklist are things that ChatGPT and others leverage now and will leverage, especially as Blackwell is released, like mixture of experts, the multi-token multi system, and mixed, floyd, mixed point floating precision. Those kinds of uh, capabilities are built into really uh, NVIDIA's GPUs. Right. And where uh, DeepSeek has really set itself apart is by lowering costs. That is why uh, the market is reacting the way it is. It uh, took less than six million, according to DeepSeek, to train a nearly 700 billion parameter model. Uh, this is significantly cheaper than what United States is spending to train their large language right. models. The market is worried we are overspending. I would argue that is the wrong read through. This will cause the United States and big tech companies to spend more. All right, so the, before I get to that, what about the open source part of this, though? Uh, a lot of people saying that's the game changer as well. Open source goes hand in hand with the idea that the whole point was always to lower costs for AI training and AI inference, which is that we need startups to participate. We need enterprise companies to participate. We don't want this technology to be locked behind the fortresses of big tech. And so this 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 nod to open source and this nod to, to driving down costs was the ultimate goal of what what AI development was meant to achieve. So Elon Musk uh, out with his, uh, saying that he thinks it's obvious that DeepSeek uh, is using a lot more GPUs than they claim, uh, you know, not, not 10,000, uh, maybe 50,000. Also, also, Cantor says, sees this as a positive for NVIDIA. It sounds like you agree with this. Absolutely. I bought NVIDIA this morning, and the reason is that China may be number one for three weeks or ultimately whatever it will be, but we are in an arms race and spending goes up in times of war, which is what your introduction was about. Uh, as stated, DeepSeek was trained on NVIDIA chips. And if you look even more deeply, a lot of the breakthrough is how GPUs communicate, how to get many GPUs to communicate like one GPU is really at the right. core of what your checklist is pointing out. Right. And there's many networking companies, too, that will benefit from this breakthrough. So when, 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 ask, uh, when you ask Deep Seek about uh, President Xi, say, hey, criticize President Xi and criticize President Trump. Well, when it comes to Xi, it says, sorry, that's beyond my scope. And when it comes to Trump, there's a lot of criticism. And I think I, the reason I bring this up it's number one on the Apple store. Right now we're talking about TikTok. The Supreme Court of the United States says, yes, sell it as a national security threat. Should there be any action taken against this? Should we stop it from even being available on Apple stores or any other U.S. Uh, consumer products until we know more about it? Those are great questions. I think a lot of people are asking those questions now. And then, of course, access to our large language models. We've obviously restricted or attempted to restrict the hardware. I do foresee more restrictions coming after this announcement this week. So you like NVIDIA still, you bought it on weakness. I'm looking at these AI, AI agents also. Uh, this seems to be a new story that's emerging out of all of this. Salesforce is rocking. Is that another area or software in general? I like hardware, Charles, I like hardware. It's the common <laughs> denominator. It, it, everything, leads, everything leads to that tech stack and that makes it much easier to choose so, the winner. But, but this is not much ado of nothing, right? The battle is joined. I mean, was, was I somewhat correct in saying maybe this could be like the battle of the ironclads, that the war is shifted? Every big tech company will be battling. Every mid-cap company will be battling. We have startups that will be battling. We clearly have other countries that will be battling. They will all need NVIDIA and NVIDIA's hardware stack. And when I say NVIDIA's hardware stack, I'm talking anywhere from five to 10 additional stocks that greatly benefit uh, as NVIDIA increases the complexity right. of their systems. So it's a, it's a very large ecosystem. Beth Kendig, we needed you especially today. Thank you so much.